Today I'll talk about modeling of perfectly mixed tank. Now here liquids comes into the tank with a flow rate Ft in and density of the fluid is rho T in and liquid comes out with flow rate Ft out and density of the coming liquid is rho T out and in the tank some liquid is there so liquid hold up is uh, that Vt, Vt means volume of the liquid and the density of the liquid hold up is rho T and liquid is maintaining height that is ht in that particular uh, but actually particular hold up height is ht and area of the tank is a now here is the here are the parameters so f in and f out volumetric flow rate in and out rho is the density of the liquid h is the liquid height of the tank and a is the area of the tank now assumption here i am taking liquid is perfectly mixed now i have to write the mass balance equation so what is the mass balance equation so mass balance equation is rate of mass accumulation is equal to rate of mass input minus rate of mass out output plus rate of mass generation minus rate of mass consumption now here as there is a no chemical reaction is happening here so rate of mass generation is zero and rate of mass consumption is zero so finally the mass balance equation becomes rate of mass accumulation is equal to rate of mass input minus rate of mass output so now we know rate of mass accumulation is equal to rate of mass input minus rate of mass out then uh, first we have to calculate rate of mass accumulation so rate of ac mass accumulation is nothing but d by dtm or dm by dt and m we can write as a rho into v means volume into density or density into volume and volume we can again write that area into height so finally we have that dm dt is nothing but d rho v by dt and that is nothing but d dt of rho a h now rate of mass input rate of mass input is f in into rho in and rate of mass output is rho f out into rho out so here f in and f out is the volumetric flow rate and rho is the density so volumetric flow rate into density is nothing but rate of mass input that is f in a rho in and rate of mass output f out and rho out now together we will get so that is dm by dt is equal to d dt rho v is equal to d dt of rho a h is equal to f in rho in minus f out rho out now if we simplify so rho a d dt of h is equal to f in rho in minus f out rho out so here rho is constant okay so rho e, rho and a area is area of the tank is constant so that's why i'm taking rho a so now we can write also that rho is nothing but f in is equal to rho out so if we if we take that uh, uh, assumption so rho is not rho is uh, uniform throughout so rho is nothing but rho in minus rho uh, is equal to rho out so rho rho will cancel out and we will get finally dh by dt is f in rho in minus f out rho out by a rho in so now here i am taking that assumption rho in minus rho out so rho in and rho out will cancel out so finally we will get dh by dt f in minus f out by a now if i know that f in and f out and area of the tank so how that height is changing with time so that we can easily calculate so dh by dt means rate of change of height is equal to that volumetric flow rate in minus volumetric flow rate out divided by tank area that's it thank you